that passcode is the devil. It could be God sometimes or it could be the devil. I'm here because I got too carried away and sometimes when you do that you end up places like this. So you set up a passcode that only you know. It can be your four favorite numbers, your wife's birth date, or even six random numbers. After that, you set up Face ID, so only you can enter those important bank apps and notes that have all your passwords. You even have two-step verification through your social media apps. You think you have everything set up so nobody can access all your information, even if they steal your phone. Well, not so fast. I can tell you that a thief is just a few steps away of accessing everything you own, and it's easier than you think. It all starts with your passcode. Yes, the passcode is the key. Many thieves like Aaron Johnson are now serving several years because they found a vulnerability in Apple software. Here's how Johnson itself explains how he can steal all your important information. First step is targeting individuals with iPhones in places where you can easily lose your phone, like bars and clubs. The second step is just to be patient. At some point, you're going to unlock your phone using your passcode or the thief would initiate conversations and ask his victims to follow him on Instagram, all while discreetly acquiring their passcodes. Later that night, he would steal the phone. With the stolen phone and passcode in hand, you are in serious trouble. With the passcode, the thief can move quickly and change your Apple ID password, enroll his own base for Face ID, and delete yours. And just like that, he has access to everything. Safe passwords, bank apps, notes, photos, everything. He even says it takes him 5 to 10 seconds to change Apple ID passwords. 5 to 10 seconds. Like, it got to that fast where I can do it. Just right there. In just a few minutes, to have the owner lose complete access to everything inside the iPhone. Disabling Find My iPhone and accessing all the apps that have money is extremely easy at this point. In response to these crimes, Apple introduced the stolen device protection setting. However, users must activate it as it remains off by default. Turning it on adds an extra layer of defense, requiring a thief to have the victim's biometrics to change the Apple ID password. It will add a delay to change security settings as well. If you don't turn this on, all of these criminal tricks will still work. Remember, once a criminal gets your passcode, you need to move quickly. One good tip is don't store your passwords in the Notes app. Take it from Johnson. I just go through their notes and the password to everything is in there. Social security number, everything, everything that you can ever imagine is in the notes or is in the photos. And also use a strong passcode, one that uses a combination of letters and numbers. If you meet a stranger and are trying to share contact the information, never hand over your phone for them to add it themselves. Security experts say that this can lead to a trap. They might lock the phone to have you enter the passcode, and if they see you enter the number, they could target you later, and make sure stolen device protection setting is activated. It can literally save you. Don't get your passcode out, I mean, watch your surroundings, stay on top of it, that's all.